friends welcome to Sada learning hub you are with me Shada Shara. today's session we are going to learn throw and throws keywords in exception handling throw statement sometimes we can create an exception object explicitly and we can hand over to the JVM manually by using the throw keyword for example throw new arithmetic exception of slash by zero to hand over our here throw mention throw means to hand over our created exception object to the JVM manually see new arithmetic exception of slash by zero creating an arithmetic exception object explicitly the result of the following two programs is exactly same I can show you two programs those two programs are exactly same see I am creating a class test public static void main now this is the system.out.println 10 by 0 it gives the exception divide by 0 arithmetic it gives the arithmetic exception divide by 0 in this case see in this case creation of arithmetic exception object and handovers to the JVM will be performed automatically by the main method now if you see this this example class test public static void main throw new arithmetic exception of slash by zero here in this statement in this case we are creating exception object explicitly and hand over to the JVM manually in general in general we can use throw keyword for customized exceptions but not for predefined exceptions now I can discuss the sum of the cases here if E refers null then we will get the null pointer exception see this one I am creating a class test static arithmetic exception E is equal to new static arithmetic exception. Now I am throwing the exception object E. The exception object is arithmetic exception. Now runtime exception exceptions in the thread main java.lang.arithmetic exception. If you see this example, I am creating a static arithmetic exception E. Now I am throwing this ex throw this exception. In this case, output is exception in thread main java dot lang dot null pointer exception at test three dot main test three dot java means fifth line. Case number two. After throw statement, we can't take any statement directly. Otherwise, we will get compile time error saying in unreachable statements. Now here I can show you this example. I'm creating a class test three. I am putting this is the this gives an arithmetic exception 10 by 0. After that, I am printing the hello. This line is unreachable line. Why? Because exception in thread main java.lang.arithmetic exception slash by 0 at the test 3 dot main of test 3 dot java 4 this is a form is fourth line now I can show this one more example here I am creating a class test I am throwing a new arithmetic exception of 0 now it gives the compile time error unreachable statement this is the unreachable statement case number 3 we can use throw keyword only for the throwable types otherwise we will get compile time error saying in computable types I am throwing new test 3 this is the this gives the compile time error now in this example I am throwing new test 3 it gives runtime exceptions exception thread main test 3 why because test 3 is extending from runtime exceptions next I'm going to discuss about throws statement in our program if there is any chance of raising 
checked exceptions compulsory we should handle either by try catch or by throws keyword otherwise the code won't compile i can show you an example here this is the class test 3 i am putting the third dot sleep of 5000 and now here unreported exception java dot lang dot interrupted exceptions must be caught or declared to the throne we can handle this compile time error by using the following two ways these are by using try catch blocks by using try catch blocks or by using throws keyword hence the main objective of the throws keyword is to delegate the responsibility of exception handling to the caller method throws keyword requires only checked exceptions usage of throws for unchecked exceptions there is no use throws keyword requires only to convey compiler usage of throws keyword doesn't prevent abnormal termination of the program here i can show you one example here i am creating a class test in this class test i am calling do stuff method this in this do stuff method i am calling do most of method in this do most of method i am writing a one statement thread dot sleep now i am not if if you are putting un uh, interrupted exceptions we need to put try catch blocks or otherwise we need to throws the uninterrupted exception now in the above program if you are removing at least one of the throws keyword then the program won't compile if you are removing one of the throws keyword in this program it doesn't compile now next i am going to discuss about some of the cases regarding the throws keyword now case one we can use the throws keyword only for the throwable types otherwise we will get the compile time error saying incompatible types see this example i am creating a test three i am using throw test three this won't be compiled why because it is an incompatible type now here this is the class i am extending from the runtime exceptions now i can throw by to this class this class throws i am throws to the this class this class throws to the runtime exception next case number two in our program if there is no chance of raising any exception then we can't write catch blocks for the exception otherwise we will get compile time error saying exception is never thrown in body of corresponding try statements but this rule is applicable only for fully checked exceptions in our program if there is no chance of raising an exception then we can't raise catch blocks for the exception otherwise we will get the compile time error saying exception is never thrown in body of corresponding try statements but this rule is applicable only for fully checked exceptions now i can show you one more example here fully checked exceptions and the partially checked exceptions we are handling in the previous lessons only if you want please view this view that uh, videos now throws keyword requires only to convey is compiler uses of throws keyword doesn't prevent the abnormal termination of the program throws keyword requires only checked exceptions uses of throws for unchecked exception there is no use hence the main objective of throws keyword is to decline the responsibility of the exception handling to the color method 
Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.